How are you doing? I'm Martin from Gardens for Life. So in this video we're going to look at the elephant garlic. So in this video we're going to harvest some elephant garlic and some of it has actually been planted here two years. So it's actually gone through two growing seasons now and it's going to be really interesting to see how productive it is to actually let your garlic grow for a second year rather than digging them up in the first year and then splitting them and then replanting them. Even in perennial parts of your garden you could plant some garlic, any variety of garlic for that matter, and you're going to get a fairly good harvest after two or three years. If you're looking for elephant garlic cloves to start you off uh, growing it in your own garden, take a look at our website, we have some available there. So elephant garlic is absolutely huge compared to regular old garlic. You can see here, that's one of them. I'm gonna pull one up and take a look at that. Absolutely huge they are. So, um, just to give you a reference of size, there, yeah, that's the size compared to my hand. And here is one of the ones that was grown from last year actually. We just left them in the ground basically. And then each individual clove actually uh, split and turned into a whole new bulb. Look at that, that's one. The sheer amount of, look at that. There's one, two, three, and each of those have split individually as well. Not quite into six, but into several individual cloves. Take a look at that. And that's all from one plant. How many elephant garlic cloves are we gonna get from the one plant? I don't know, but that's very productive. I don't think I'll need to even dig up some of them. I'm gonna leave them actually planted in the ground for an extra year and um, just let them grow. Let's see what we've got. There's even the little corms, you can see them there, the small little bits and pieces. Those will grow into a full-size um, clove. Do you see these little things here, the corms? They'll grow into a full-size clove next year. It's a very productive plant. Jeez, I can't believe that came off of one plant only. Jeez, there must be about a kilo in it, I'd say. But you can see, if it's just planted on its own, it definitely grows bigger. But it's going to be a lot less work and a lot less maintenance to actually have to pull it up every year and just leave it planted. In some places in your garden, you could just leave it planted for a second year especially in perennial parts of your garden. There's also a few more corms here that you'll be able to find. They usually fall down into the hole where you pull the garlic out of. And that's it. So we're going to dry this now in the greenhouse on the table and then we're going to uh, split them or we're going to um, store them and we'll split them if we're since that we're gonna dry them anyway we might as well split them and then replant them as you can see the garden is definitely mixed now and there's some weeds popping through as well there's a nettle plant I need to take care of that but in general, the garlic does very well, especially between uh, cabbage or kale. So you can see here, it looks a little bit like leek. Actually, all garlic is in the leek family. So um, when it goes yellow like that, it's definitely time to pull it. If you are going to harvest it this year, I would um, pull it up at this stage because it's going to um, be become very hard. You won't be able to just pull it up by the stalk 
Uh, you'll have to actually dig it out with a shovel because the, the stalk becomes quite fragile after a while. And here's another example of one of those plants where it has split in four into four and then again into individual cloves. Now that didn't go. I'll have to get the shovel. Cheers, I need to use two hands for that one. Now you see those stalks are already kind of loose, so it's definitely going to be um, time to harvest these. You can see here that I'm going to have to get a shovel and dig that up. But it is a solid mass of garlic underneath the ground here. No, too slippery. Here's a top tip for you. You have to make sure that you take your uh, scapes or the flowering heads. Definitely cut those off before they actually develop this far. You'd want to um, uh, take those away because otherwise the plant is going to deplete all of its um, energy that it has stored in the actual cloves or in the root. And it's going to bring it up here and it's going to make seeds. Now, whether or not you can use the seeds is another question. If anyone has any experience in uh, growing garlic from seeds, please let me know in the comments below. I'd highly appreciate it because, um, I mean, these flowers are probably edible too, um, but uh, we're just going to chop it. Now, oh. we prefer propagating it with using the clove itself that way we get good the same genetics actually but maybe you can grow garlic from seed too i've just never tried it i know you can grow onions from seed or from um, the actual egyptian onions of course they grow differently they grow little onions instead of actual flowers and seeds in the top so you can propagate it that way and multiply them so we've got another large plant of elephant garlic here two years old as well in among our Japanese wine berries and those are flowering now and hopefully we'll get some berries very soon I'm looking forward to it because they're kind of like a little small sticky raspberry but a unique flavor we always keep these kind of uh, wild currant bushes that the birds actually planted in our gardens because uh, in case it's going to be a good variety it might turn out to be a good one so let me see if I can pull that up these flies are particularly annoying today. If I could set you up here, that works. Let me try and pull up all of them at once. Look at that all from one plant so you can see definitely each individual clove doesn't quite grow to full size anyway like it has done in other places let me just show you a comparison here so this is what it looks like if you plant it individually and this is what it looks like if you just leave it for two years but then you're going to get lots of these ones off one plant so it's just a little bit less maintenance not having to harvest it and replant it and separate them but it's definitely probably nearly as productive I'd say I assume six individual ones of these is probably more by the kilo there's probably more uh, harvest in it if you were to weigh it but you know I'm happy with that for a harvest If you're looking for elephant garlic starts, or if you're looking for any kind of uh, special onions like the Egyptian walking onion, take a look at our website, we have some there. Thanks for watching the video, and we will see you at the next one. And please do like and subscribe, and take a look at our website if you're interested in starting to grow your own garlic.